whenever you're ready. Troy, looking at the stats from today's game, I mean, you led in rebounds, you led in bench points, had a 20-point lead at one point. Do you think this was a complete win for you or not so much? It was better. I mean, we are finally, you know, put two or three weeks of practice together here um, where we're being a little bit more consistent about the things we're doing. Uh, our biggest emphasis for this game, I told them, was uh, we need to start rebounding the ball better because if we don't, we're not going to beat. We're not going to beat some teams. And we have to rebound the ball better. And there was a, there was a better concerted effort. Uh, I, I've watched a little bit of the first quarter, and I see four or five people really going after the rebounds. And we, we need to do that to continue to get better as a basketball team. Um, we did get some good play off our bench. Um, I, I thought... Uh, Vivian Jendi had a big first half for us. Uh, we were kind of sputtering and uh, we weren't playing real well. We let them back in the game and, and, and Vivian really stepped up before the end of the half. And the whole group that was out there with her, did they really stepped up. And, and, and we need that to happen on a consistent basis. And I don't think it'll just be one person. I, I think they all have capabilities of helping us. And uh, they did a really good job with that. Did you say anything in the timeout you took right before the half? Because you guys went on an 11-0 run right before the half. Do you say anything? or No, I mean, nothing that I don't yell at them about. I mean, it's just, uh, you know, some people are, are they're starting to get comfortable with what we're doing, the young kids, and have a better understanding of what we're trying to do. So uh, they had a chance to step up. And like I said, Vivian had a big end of the half. She stepped up big and did a really good job, and, and along with the other people that were with her. So, um, a couple other big keys I thought for the game were, um, you know, I kind of challenged uh, Elena Alikes and, and Liz Lutz to step up their shooting. They've been getting some shots, and they haven't been shooting as high a percentage as we would like to. And uh, I thought both of them shot really well today. If those two shoot the ball well, and with the play of, you know, uh, McKaylee and and Sam Potter and Emily Miller, who I'm really happy with. Uh, that gives us a, a fairly strong starting five, and, and we got some weapons. And then we got, like I said, we got a lot of young kids coming off the bench, but they had a lot of energy, and they're learning, they, and they want to learn. That's the most important thing. They want to learn, and they want to get better, and they want to help us. So uh, I'm, I'm really uh, I'm, I'm happy with their growth, you know, basically in the two or three weeks that we've had. Came close to hitting 80 points too. That was kind of a struggle to get to that mark last year. I mean, do you have you noticed things changed this year? Any particular to, or are you guys just shooting the ball really well today? No, no, I don't. Even, you know, we're shooting the ball decent. We shot the ball well today. Uh, we, every team has a makeup, and our makeup was not to try to fast pace, try to score more points. Um, in the past couple of years, I mean, we've had we've had to use Jessica Schultz. She was our go-to person. Um, we were down guards. Our guards were injured, and they weren't. Uh, you know, we weren't at full health. Um, the year before, we had Darby Youngstrom. I mean, I mean, Jessica and Darby didn't need to be. They needed to log 35 minutes a game, and playing at that pace, I don't think they could have played at that pace. So we became more of a grinded out team on both the offensive and defensive end, and it and it worked. You know, I mean. Uh, uh, but we have a group of people where we have a, we're a lot more exciting to watch, I would say. I mean, we're going to move the ball up and down the court as best we can. Um, but it all starts and it's predicated off our defense. We have to be able to defend. We got to be able to rebound and then we can run. And uh, we have people that can create, we can get shots. And, and we have a lot of people that can make shots. So, um, so we're just different. You know, every team that you coach every year is totally different. And if you don't adapt to your team as a coach, I don't think you're doing your team a, a great service. I got a couple of questions about things on the defensive end. Um, giving up some some uncontested shots at times, but ultimately limiting um, Blanchard to, I think it was averaging like 20 something points coming in to, to less than that and containing her for the most part. Was that part of the, the design coming in? Yeah, we, we actually... Uh, uh, I'm going to take uh, the fault for uh, Deshauna Day getting open because she has not proven till this point that she was going to be able to make shots from the perimeter. 
And uh, I, I mean, I swear to God, I'm just a, I'm, I'm hexed. Um, we didn't guard her and she made four of seven and um, made us change our game plan a lot, to be honest with you, and on the run. And I thought the girls did a good job with it. And then, you know, Caden Blanchard's going to be a big time scorer in this league. I mean, she's already proven. I mean, she was averaging 26, 27 points a game and had a huge night last week at 39 for a freshman. That's amazing. And, uh, and Mallory McCartney is also a really special offensive player. Um, but we have some length and some athletes. Uh, Sam Potter is, she's a stud athlete and Michaela Kuhn is a stud athlete and they can guard people and they're long. They're six foot and six foot one and, we can put them on smaller guards and they're capable of containing them for a majority of the night. And I thought, you know, for most of the night, they did a really good job. We made them make tough shots and uh, they made some tough ones coming down the stretch, but the game was kind of out of reach already. Now uh, I know they're under new first year head coach, who I think was an assistant last time around, but are you surprised they didn't press you a little more the full length of the court defensively or no? No, I mean, uh, they tried a little bit, but, um, they, you know, uh, Kurt's doing a good job with them. They, they're missing their two best players. I mean, Adrian Anderson was picked to be the MVP of our league. I mean, she's out with a shoulder injury, probably won't be back this year. And uh, their center, Idoni, is out. So they're down people. I mean, they'd be really, really good um, if they had those two people uh, in their program right now with the, with the capabilities of their guards. So, uh, you know, you got to kind of, you know, I feel for them a little bit. I've been through that with uh, teams and uh, he's doing a really good job with them. And uh, they're just like the rest of us, just trying to learn and get better, playing a lot of young people. And, and uh, so I don't think he was, I don't think they're capable of pressing us for the majority of the night. Any more questions for coach? I'm good. All right. Good. Thanks, fellas. Thanks, Coach. All right. Thanks, Catherine.